Challenger fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black, trimmed with gold, and weighed in at eight stone, three pounds. Hailing from right here, Belfast, Northern Ireland. He is undefeated with 19 wins, 11 come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current Commonwealth and WBC Silver International Super Flyweight Champion, Jamie. The Mexican Conlin! And his opponent across the ring, he is the defending champion, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing red with white and weighed in the same as his opponent, eight stone, three pounds. Coming to us from Cowit, Cavite City, Philippines, he brings a professional record consisting of 27 wins, just one defeat, one draw, with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending IBF Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Sherwin Pretty Boy Ankaha. Okay, boys, I'm a cold vein. Take one step back. Don't throw punches to the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, boys. Our second world title fight of the evening. The first one, the WBO World Bantamweight title, ended in 11 seconds. Yes, 11 seconds. Zelani Tete knocking out his South African fellow countryman, Sibanisa Gonya. What will happen this time? Ankahas from the Philippines, a big favourite, but Jamie Conlon, what an opportunity. Kind of a boxing cliche, but if he pulls this off, it is a life changer. He needs the performance of his career and the performance of his life here. John does Jamie Conlon, but he has got the grit and determination. He's been hurt before and he's come through it, but he's got to put in the performance tonight. It's got a marginal height and reach advantage, Conlon. He's having to cope with Ankahas, who's a south four, as you see, leading off with that right hand. Interestingly, Conlon's been sparring, preparing for this extensively with brother Michael, who's a, a rising young talent, and Michael's been boxing south four with him. Yeah, Michael's a very talented boxer indeed, uh, Michael Conlon, and he can box as good as a, a safe boy as he can orthodox so i think that would be good sparring for jamie Conlon and his brother michael absolutely spine well. tingling atmosphere here reverberating around this sse arena here the support for jamie Conlon. had some extraordinary battles of course to get to this point jamie Conlon had a fight against a guy called junior granados back in 2015, which is one of the most extraordinary fights that you'd ever see. Is he going to have to produce something of similar intensity here? Danny Vaughan, his trainer, told me that the tactic has to be to try and box this man, try and keep it long, don't get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl. Nice little chopping right hand there from Conlon. Oh, there. Oh, what's happened here? Well, what's happened here? He's gone down for something. I honestly couldn't see what happened there. No, nor me, John. Delayed reaction. And his leg, I think one of it, he's got a problem with his leg. Yeah, he's got a problem with his leg, hasn't he? His, his lead leg. Has his knee gone? He just sank to the canvas. A delayed reaction. Well... It's going to be interesting well, to try and determine exactly what happened there. I don't think it was from a punch, was it? I don't believe so. But is I, it think, I think he leg? might have twisted his knee, Richie. Yeah, something very rare. Well, if it were a, a football match, you'd say, give it a go and try and run it off. A bit different here. 
But he said, didn't he, at the start, that he's going to try and box a distance. That was the tactic. He's got to try and trigger the attacks off from, from Anker Haas and then come back with his counters. But if he's got a problem with that lead leg, then he may have a problem then of actually coming well, back and countering. But let's see if we can hear when he gets back into the corner exactly what the problem is, because he'll tell Danny Vaughan straight off. So I'll shut up the moment that bell goes and let's see if we can make sense of it. Well, that was mystifying, but we go now into the second round. I think Anker Haas was probably winning the round anyway, wasn't he? Just about, just, and just, with the yeah, involuntary going down. It. So I guess that'd be scored 10 8. I think so, Johnny. He probably just nicked the round and then with the count as well, then probably a 10 8, which is really unfortunate for, for Conlon now. His delayed reaction, wasn't it? And it looked as though he had a problem with his right leg. How much confidence now remains for the task in hand? It's good work from Conlon. Just getting the timing right there, Conlon. Again, opting to box at distance and waiting for his opponent to come in. He's just got to get his timing right as Anker Haas comes over that front foot, closes the gap down. That's when he's got to try and bring him onto the shots. But he's got to have fast reactions to do it, quick reflexes, and he's got to be accurate with the punches that he throws. Big step up in class this from anything Conlon has faced before. And it was always a question mark about whether or not he'd have the power to keep Anker Haas at bay. Clash of heads there. He come and just waiting there, he's waiting for his opponent to come forward. That's why he just occasionally you see him just faint with that jab. But Anka has now is on that front foot, beating Conlon to the punches. But Conlon, I can see what he's trying to do there. He's just fainting with that jab and trying to trigger the attack off from Anka Haas. That was one round the back of the head, he's going to get in trouble for that. Oh, and there's a cut. Conlon is cut left eye. Oh dear, and it's a bad one. Blood seeping from that damage around the left eye. And the cacophony which was greeting Anker Haas in the first round has been somewhat deadened now. Conlon has been down back end of that first round and is now cut, and it looks as though quite badly cut. The problems keep mounting, don't they, for Conlon? But he, he has come through similar situations when he's been hurt here and there. But this is a mountain to climb now. A real test of character for young Jamie Conlon. Ancas is so cool and methodical in the way he goes about his work. Belfast's faithful Conlon's fans trying to raise the man. But it's another clear round for the Filipino. Yeah, the crowd, John, think they can sense that their man needs a little bit of help here. Ringside, it's blood from the eye of Jamie Conlon. A great daub of grease over that eye, which is wiped away. Oh dear. Wiped away by Steve Gray. Well, Conlon has had some remarkable comebacks in the past when he's seemingly been on the cusp of defeat. But this is a huge test now. Massive. It's a big test, most certainly, but he's just got to get his timing right. He's in against a, a, a good safe ball who's got a very good jab, who can box at distance himself, and who's fairly confident. But Conlon, if he's going to win this, he's got to trigger those attacks off and try and bring him onto that right hand and finish on the left hook. Anker has promoted by Manny Pacquiao. 
Philippines craving a new hero to follow in the footsteps of the great man. He's just pecking away with that right-hand lead, the target, the damaged right eye, left eye. And Connors somehow, Johnny, is going to try and protect that eye, so he's got to keep that left hand a little bit higher. Anker Haas is trying to come around the guard, isn't he, with his jab and long right hook and try and target that. That right, sorry, that left eye of Conlon, but that's better from Jamie Conlon there with the right hand. Anker has a patient sort of fighter, he doesn't quite have the firecracker explosiveness of the of a prime Manny Pacquiao, but he's mighty effective. Oh my goodness! Solid straight right hand lead and followed up with the left hook. Big body shots now. Conlon not having too much success in this third round. Oh, massive body shot again. Conlon, I thought by the time he was going to go down. Now, huge body shots coming in again, and this time he does go down. First shot was a good shot, wasn't it, for Conlon? He's a brave kid, though, John. He's on his feet. He's back up. And down for the second time in the fight. Closing seconds of another huge round for the Filipino. Lord, massive body chomps coming in. Is he going to go down again? No, he doesn't. Somehow manages to stay up. IBF Super Flyweight Championship of the World, Jamie Conlon already has been down twice. Is Ankhaus going to go for the finish in this round? Well, he'll probably target the body again, won't he, Ankhaus? Inevitably. Conlon's just got to stay tight here now, stay at distance. Just try and wait for this fella to come forward. What he doesn't want to be doing now, Conlon, he's leading off and then falling short and Pro making Ankhaus... Come back with his counters. He's got a box intelligent on the outside and just wait for his man to come forward and try and bring him onto a shot. A problem, I guess, Richie, trying to protect that damaged eye, keeping the gloves up, and that's creating the opening which Ankars is exploiting to the body. Yeah, maybe so, John, but what he can't afford to do is, is, is go forward and, and, and overreach, leave himself open. Tough job, but he's a tough kid, Jamie Condon. Loads of bottle. Well, he's going to need to show absolutely everything that he's got. As I've said already, if you can turn this one around from here, it would be extraordinary. Good shot. Nice, solid right hand from Conlon. Oh, lovely punch at distance there from Conlon. Timing was good. And Castle already has been told once to keep his punches up. And he's targeting the body of Conlon once more. Clever boxing that was from Anger Has just switches, didn't he? With that right hook around the guard of Conlon. Patient and methodical. Yeah, he is patient, yeah. Definitely. He's got to stay off the ropes though, John. Has Conlon. That right hand hurt Conlon again. Took the wind out of him. Now a big left hook. Here comes the big body attack again. Conlon's in trouble, in big trouble. The referee will want to see punches to come back. Somehow he's digging in there and manages to find a left hook. But these body shots are savage. Ankars on the attack. All Ankars at the moment. Conlon. 
just looking, just trying to come back with the odd single shot, but he's got to get off those ropes. He is really hurting with this sustained body attack, and Ankerhaus is in complete command. Left hand for the in the face of the Filipino, and again, a bit of reddening on his right cheek now. Once more, the body shot. Conlon pulses the floor in frustration. Down for a second time. Is he going to get up this time? Is it eight? Is it nine? He's going to allow it to continue. It was very, very marginal. We move into the fifth. Ankerhaus way ahead on the cards. How brave is Jamie Conlon, though, John? Well, tough kid, brave, brave kid. It's hard to it's hard to think of somebody currently around who's got more fighting heart than Conlon. Too brave, if anything. It's a nice right hand. But Ankar's completely unmoved by it. Still a bit of a mystery, John. That first knockdown, isn't it, in the opening round? What happened there? Whether it's affected the whole of his game plan. Jamie Conlon. Give credit to Ankerhaus, a very accomplished boxer indeed, boxing well at range. Got a very fast jab from the now, just trying to land that right hand as a counter. It's a measured left right hand, isn't it, from Ankerhaus? Decent body shot there from Conlon, nice little left hook downstairs. So a bit of success in this round. Having a much better round here. Nice uppercut though from Ankars. And here comes the body shot again. And again. Referee saying that was too low, I think. That's the second warning he's had. Another one, and he'll get a point taken away, you suspect. Conlon will be given time. He says he's OK. just not able to find any real telling shots to halt the advance of Ankerhaus. I think it, it was... Oh, oh the a now. big body shot. Now, is that low again? Now he's saying no knockdown. No knockdown, he's saying, now what's he going to do? He'll take a point here, won't he? I think surely he's got to. There have been two warnings, and if he's decided that's low, that's the third. It's not giving us a knockdown, and now what's the referee going to do? You can hear what the crowd wants him to do. Three times, and here it comes. The point is taken away. Sorry, he says. The crowd say, is that a turning point? Let's see if that gives a bit of encouragement now for Jamie Conlon. And down, or oh, I almost went down again. Torrid. That would be scored 9 9. 
without the point deduction, that is. Sixth round, it's a 12 rounder, of course, the championship distance. He's looking at the corner, Jamie Conlon's corner, they want him to come forward. And he's got to avoid that jab, hasn't he? And has very good with the straight shots as well. Straight jab, long, straight left hand. Down he goes again, right hand this time. Conlon thinks it was around the back of the head, but it was more on the side of the head. Seven. Looking a little bit bemused, and he stopped it. It's all over, a brave effort ends there. A one-sided fight, Ankahas just too much. It was a step up in class, a step up in class, and it was just a step too far for the gallant, brave Jamie Conlon. Look, this is coming, this is the end now. So it's on the side of the head, that, that right hook. I think the referee had probably seen enough, though it's right. I mean, it's at the back of the head, if anything, side to the back. Let's have a look here, John. This, I mean, that is, it's at the back of the head.